So, you may be wondering, how there much compensation do I owe the waiter or waitress after I dine at a restaurant? There are three situations to take into consideration when figuring out how much to tip a waiter. Before we show you how to calculate the tip, we will instruct you on how much to tip your server. The first amount is a normal tip. If your waiter did a fine job and you were satisfied, then you tip them 18%. Hello, sir. Are you ready to order? Yes. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? Uh, I would like the small fish topped with 24 karat gold. Yeah, great choice. Great choice. In addition, I would like the authentic sateen topped with Sultine. more gold. More gold? And, you know, side, or side order of gold. Too. Yeah, you can, I agree. You can never have too much gold. Oh, well, course, I'll course. get that right in for you. Next, if your server did a stellar job and you were extremely impressed, then you should tip them 20% or more. Here's your food, good sir, and I have a little bit of extra gold for the side because I know you love it so much. Thank you. If you have anything else, just please ask me. I'm here for you. Just call me. My name's Craig, and I'm here. I'm here to help. Well, thank you, fine sir. Well, all right, listen up, sir. I, I don't got time. Like, just write down what Lastly, you want here. If your server was just horrible and made too many mistakes that upset you and disrupted your meal, you should tip them 15% or less. There you go. Excuse me. Have fun with that. You know what? I can't. But like, what's my tip though? Make sure to determine whether your, your problems with your meal were due to the cooking staff or the waiters, as you don't want to unfairly punish the waiter when it was out of their control. Now, for the calculation, we will start from easiest to hardest. For the 20% tip, look at the once in tens place first. In this case, we only have an eight and a six to look at. Divide $86 by 10 and then multiply by two to get a 20% tip total of $17.20. For the 18% tip, follow the steps to find a, for, to find a 20% tip, but then find 2% by dividing 86 by 100, which is 86 cents, then multiplying by 2, which is $1.72. Subtract this amount, $1.72, from $17.20 to get an 18% tip of $15.84. Finally, for the 15% tip, or less if you're really upset, find the 10% tip again, by dividing 86 by 10 to get $8.60. Next, multiply by 1.5, which is really dividing $8.60 by two, and then adding it back to the $8.60. As a result, you get your 15% tip of $12.90. Well, I hope you've learned how to tip a waiter or waitress the next time you go out to eat, just like our friend Adam. Good luck. Have you ever thought Wow, I'm bored with this simple, normal way to tie a tie. Well, here's a cool new way to tie a tie. While a classic foreign hand, or Windsor knots, may be perfect for any occasion, sometimes you need a more unique and stylistic choice. May I present to you the training knot. The key to this knot is keeping all movements as tight as possible. Start with the wider end of the tie on your left, and the skinnier end on your right. Unlike most knots, the skinnier end will be the active side. The wider end should not move. Put the skinny end over the wider end to the left. Pull the end up through the center from underneath the tie. Let the end fall back down to the left. Pull the skinny end behind the wider end to the right. Pull the end up in front of the center of the tie. Pull the active end through the center loop and down to the left. Bring the active end around the center of the wider end and bring it up under the loop. Next few steps can make or break the knot. You must find a balance between loose and tight. Pull the skinny end down through the loop around the front of the tie that you created in the previous step. Bring the small end around the back of the wide end of the tie to the right. Then, bring the active end across the front of the tie towards the center and through the loop created in the previous step. Tighten and tuck the rest of the small end behind the neck loop on the left side. The last step is to show off your elegant and memorable time. Look at you, a fashion icon. Do you want to be a visco girl? That's what we thought. I mean, who doesn't? First things first, swap that tragic sweater for a comfy, oversized tee. Cold, it doesn't matter. 
Sneakers? <laughs> Never heard of her. Birkenstocks are the only way to go. Maybe add some socks for that quirky look. Birkenstocks and Louis stocks I invest in. A Visco girl has to have scrunchies galore, so stack them up. I have 365 scrunchies, one for each day of the year. I'm on a scrunchie restriction now because I cut off my circulation last time. Now put that luscious hair into a cute little messy bun. Always remember, the messier the merrier. Plastic straws? Blech. Repulsive. We've got to save those turtles, so make sure that you use a metal straw. That's on period love, XX. If your school's girl's most vital possession is her one and only hydro flax. GMO free is the way to be. Finally, make sure you take a picture of everything you own and post it on that gram. Click, click, click. Because we all know the number of likes and comments you get is the only validation you'll ever need. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Aaron, and I'm going to show you how to enjoy a movie in Sharon High School with a detailed explanation on how to make microwave popcorn. First, you're going to take out your favorite microwave popcorn and find the microwave in the cafeteria. For the best results for microwave popcorn, use the popcorn setting on the microwave. All you need to do is pop it in, press the button, and your popcorn will be ready in no time. After your popcorn is ready, find your way to the library and look for a comfy spot. There are lots of great places to sit, but my favorite spot is one of the couch chairs next to the left. They're always open and great for movie watching. After finding a spot, you're going to need to find the perfect movie to watch. Netflix is the best website for free movies and TV shows. They have so many options and it's hard to choose. I like comedy movies, especially on Netflix. There are so many great classics like Thor Ragnarok, Scary Movie 2, and multiple stand-up productions with Kevin Hart and Dave Chappelle. I also like watching movies on Hulu because they also have great movies to choose from. Some of the movies include Shrek, Daddy's Home 2, and Major League 2. After you've found a movie, kick back, relax, Open up a fit bottle of your favorite drink and enjoy the movie right in school with some fresh popcorn. Thanks for watching. I'm Aaron Cashton. Attach the lens onto the front of the camera by lining up the two white squares with each other. Insert the battery pack into the camera. Turn it on by flipping the on-off switch on the top of the device. If you decide to take photos in manual mode, make sure to adjust your settings to the way you would like to take photos. Today, however, we will only focus on the basics of the operation of your camera. Point out what you would like to take a photo of. Look into the viewfinder. It looks like a small window at the top of your device. Click the view button on your camera to view your picture. And if you want to zoom in on your photo, you would click the magnifying glass and click on the button to zoom. Flip the switch and turn the camera off. How to make a TikTok. First, you need to download the app. Then, open the TikTok app. Find a sound you want to make your video to, and watch other people's videos to learn how to do the dance. Find a good, well-lit location to film the TikTok. Then you need to get someone to hold the phone while you do your TikTok. Press record, and let it count down from three. Time. You mess up on the first try, so film it again.
After you do it right, add a filter, upload the video to TikTok, and caption it hashtag for you. Then hopefully you will go viral. Good evening. <clears throat> On this Friday the 13th midnight, we will be teaching you all how to summon spirits and demonic entities. A fair warning, this video is not of the faint of heart, nor for the superstitious. Now then, let us begin. One must first acquire a Ouija board. It used to be hard to acquire for its rare and cursed origins, but ironically enough, one can buy one from a local toy store. The board should look similar to the one on screen. Once you acquire the Ouija board, you must plan the date in which you will communicate with the spirit or demonic entity. The process itself can begin. First and foremost, you must ensure that you do not ponder on such idiotic questions. So remember to be courteous to the spirits. We do not wish to upset them. What's up, ghost? It could have dire consequences. Now gently place your forefingers on both hands at the stem or bottom of the planchet. Do not apply harsh force. You must remember this. Then you must begin the process by getting the board ready. This can be accomplished by moving the planchet in a circular motion around the board. Once the board feels ready, you may begin asking questions. You must ease into the communication by asking simple questions. An example, and a good starter, is, is anybody there? After that, you may move on to more complex questions, but you must remember not to annoy or be rude to the spirits. Once you are done, you must close the portal by dragging the planchet to the goodbye area. Often, spirits will do it for you when they no longer wish to communicate. We hope you enjoyed and took something away from this instructional video. However, we have one final warning before we conclude. Once the portal is opened, anything can happen. Cut! That it? Wrap. Should we edit it now? Oh yeah. Why right. did I do that? I think I like messed up on the line there, but that's okay. It's alright. Uh, Dude, why'd you turn off the lights? Alright. It's on the front. What are you doing? Are you flickering the lights, bro? Is that what you're trying to do? Is it just not working? No, I... I don't know where the lights are. The lights is... The switch is gone. What? What do you mean the switch is gone? Just go check the right side of the door, bro.